Hello. Only one person today, Rodrigo. Hello, Jose. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm good. And you? Yeah, I'm good. Too. Did you feel the earthquake today? Um, I was asleep. You were sleeping. Yes. So you didn't feel it. Uh, maybe a little bit, but many people would say it was a hard earthquake. It was very strong. Strong. Yeah. No, it was. It was very, very strong. But um, I imagine in the Palma, maybe because it was in Usulutan. Yes, in, in uh, many people in the social media say in San Salvador, Sultan, it was very strong, but here in La Palma, maybe a little bit, uh, I don't know. Oh, okay. What about you, Boris? Did you feel it? Yes, I, I, um, Received uh, an uh, an email uh, sixteen seconds before. Yes, that said uh, it's near an earthquake, <laughs> and after uh, it started the, the earthquake. Yeah, that's scary. Yeah, like, I, oh my god! I read it on my watch. I, I saw a picture that in in some supermarkets, some uh, things. Uh, fall down the floor. Yes. But by the moment, uh, there is no uh, people in here, in here. No, for the moment, no. Yeah, it was scary. <laughs> it was, it was, it was strong. It, but it was long. It was long too. Who else is here? So Jose Saias and Boris. There's Claudia Marcela Linares Urquilla. She's connecting. Did you look at the book yesterday, the one that I sent you? In my case, I was working the the platform. Okay. Hold on, give me one second. Fisher, I think that this uh, earthquake was in the in front of the coast of Usulutan. Yes, but do you know if there's a tsunami alert? No. No. They say that <clears throat> there is an alert. There's no alert? Okay, good. Hold on, let me open the platform in this moment. Okay.
Hold on, I'm opening it right now. All right. Hey, Rafael, how are you? Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. What about you? I'm good. Thank you. Did you feel the earthquake? Did, did you feel the earthquake today, Rafael? Oh, oh yes. It, uh, I mean, here in Cojutepeque, is is feel it so so hard. Oh yeah. Okay, let me see. No, my my platform's not opening. Hold on, my. Is your is your platform opening? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Hmm. I always have problems with my platform. What about you, Claudia? Did you feel the earthquake? Oh yeah. Normally I stay calm, but today it was very hard. It was long too. It was long. Yes. It was progressive too. It's it was scaling like Do you know how many types of earthquakes there are? No. no. There are there are three types of earthquakes. One is when you go up and down, up, down, up, down, up, down. The second is called S wave. That is an S. This one is the most destructive. Uh, when it's a little bumper. Yes, it's an S. Hola, S wave. Oh, S wave. Uh, and number three is the one today that is from left to right. Es el menos, el menos. <laughs> yes or no? Did you feel today like you were surfing or, or something? Because, because if you see the earthquake, it said it was 6.5. Imagine, imagine this, this earthquake today if it was like, like this. Si hubiera sido S, there would have been casualties. Because that one is more destructive. What kind of airport was this? In my opinion, I think it was the um from left to right. Because you feel you feel this, right? Um I didn't feel up and down, up and down. No, I felt from side to side. Like in a hammock. hammock. Yeah, like a hammock. Hammock. Mm -hmm. Hey, you have glasses. Yeah. What about you? Did you? Oh, why well, you live in um? You live in Lourdes, right? Me, I live in Susunate. So you didn't really feel it today, right? Yeah, it was very strong here. Oh, really? And love. 
No. I have been, listen to this. I was in Mexico in 1985, earthquake. I was in El Salvador in 1986, earthquake. I was in San Francisco in 1989, earthquake. I've been in every earthquake. I was in El Salvador 2001, earthquake. What was the worst? San Francisco. That was an ugly earthquake. That that is where I learned. That is where I learned the types of earthquakes. In California, they teach you. There is a museum for earthquakes. So I have bad luck with earthquakes. Give me one second. Let me see if I can open this. Okay, tell me if you see my screen. Tell me if you see the lady. Do you see my screen? Yes. yes So let's see this video. I think we saw it yesterday, but let's see it one more time. Illegal, illogical, irrational, irresponsible. Oh, yeah, I remember, remember yesterday. Hold on. We were talking about the difference. <laughs> Mm -hmm. put, okay. Remember yesterday we were talking about acceptable? Yes. Okay. Hi. Dishonest. Illegal. Okay, what is something for you? What is something for you that is unacceptable? Bodies. Okay, something unacceptable could be um, that the the child, uh, the child, uh, works uh, at early age. Okay, good. Yes, children working at an early age is unacceptable. You know, um, I think that children that don't have shoes today in El Salvador, I think that's unacceptable. Yes, sir. Because maybe 20 or 30 years ago, yes, it was difficult to get shoes because they were expensive. But now you can buy shoes in one dollar. <laughs> you know. So uh people that say, Oh, my my kid has no clothes, I think that's unacceptable. What is something unacceptable for you, Dennis? Um I think that's something for me, uh, and this is my personal opinion, 
uh, it's unacceptable that abortion becomes legal in El Salvador. That will be unacceptable for me. Well, you, but so you don't have to say legal. So you just say, for me, abortion is unacceptable. No, oh, okay. Yeah. Or Both. legal legal abortion is unacceptable. Oh, legal abortion. Yeah, both ways, legal and also I, I, illegal, both ways are unacceptable. The abortion in general is unacceptable for me. Yeah. For me, it's questionable. Mm, what's the difference? So you mean, uh, what is the context or the, the, the circumstances? So that, that's what you mean. Yes, because many people think that abortion, it's unacceptable because I'm not saying you, but I'm saying in general that many people say, oh, yeah, but the woman was crazy. She went and she had sex with no protection and now she wants to kill the baby. Yes, that's mm -hmm. unacceptable. But there are other sides, you know, there are, for example, a rape, sometimes your own family member. So uh, or your baby might be in a bad condition. Or you, imagine you have AIDS. A woman, imagine a woman that has AIDS. But, but, but abortion, I'm talking maybe like before the first month. But not like when you are eight, nine months. So I'm not saying I'm in favor or against. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I, I have to be in that situation to understand I see. There, there was a comedian, um, Dave Chappelle. Do you know Dave Chappelle? No, no, I don't know. He was saying, "Yeah, you know what? Abortion, it's legal. Okay, it's good. I, I, I agree with abortion. So that means that you can walk out on your son when he's ten, when he's nine or ten, and you can't say anything." You know, I, the government tells you, hey, wait, wait, why, why? You can't leave your son. So it's contradictive because you can't abandon your son, but you can kill him. You know, <laughs> so it's it's a very, it's a questionable law. But that's a good topic. Yeah. That's good. And it's yeah, good. To, and very controversial. It's very controversial. But I you think know, it, I am. Yes, go ahead. No, I was going to tell you that I am not a religious religious person. It, it doesn't have anything related to if I believe or not in God or what the, how do you say, mandamientos? Commandments. Commandments, exactly. It's nothing related to that. It's my personal opinion. It's my conviction. And I may say I don't believe in God or something like that. But I believe in in the natural um, condition and yes. in life. So uh, it's very controversial, being honest. And you know, you know, I think it was last month. Well, it was it was recently. I was by la by Metro Centro, and there's a group there in Metro Centro of um, drug addicts you know drug addicts and you clearly you clearly see a girl she's maybe i don't know five months pregnant smoking smoking crack and sniffing glue what? and pregnant pregnant and you know and i was and there was a lot of traffic and people were only looking at her and says poor baby yeah. now that baby, that baby, that puesto, I baby, that baby is an addict now. When that baby is born, he will be an addict. Yeah, I have seen cases like maybe, similar cases. Maybe that baby will be sick. Oh, you know, so that's why that's why sometimes abortion is questionable. But in this case, for example, if this woman had an abortion and get arrested too. Yeah. You you pay the consequences. I don't know. So it's but that's a good that's a good opinion for you. That's good. 
What about you? Uh, hey, let's hear for the lawyer. Jose, what is something unacceptable for you? Well, for me, something unacceptable, driving drunk. Yes, that's true. You know, for me, what is un un unacceptable? Yes. Given an excuse. Have you heard some stupid people say no when I'm when I am drunk I drive better? <laughs> yes, I that's unacceptable. That. Yeah, you know, it's like, oh please, man. <laughs> you know, don't be stupid. <laughs> but no, you know, yeah. people say, you know, I, I have friends, I tell them, hey, call somebody, get the venga you're drinking too much, you know. No, 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 no. I drive better when I'm you know, when I'm drunk, I you know, that's unacceptable. <laughs> what about you know for you? Yes. In my insurance card, mm -hmm. uh, in the quote, the quota mm -hmm. includes if you want to drink and you are in a bar or in a friend's house, you call three hours later. Uh, before, if, for, for example, you want to leave at 12, you call and say you want someone. For the insurance, uh, go for pick 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 you in 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 this place and drive for you to your house. Yeah, you know, I heard about that. Do they take your car or what? Excuse me. Do they take your car or the insurance yes. car? Uh, they arrive in in two cars. Mm -hmm. They arrive in, in one car. One. One person is driving and the other is driving your car. And the two take you home. Uh -huh. One drives your car and the, and the car with the people of the insurance follow you. So hey, when man. when they uh, leave you in your house, they both go in, in the insurance car. Yes. Okay, that's good. Okay, you know, you know what, you know what is for me unacceptable. Remember that accident of that big trailer, by um, that happened, the trailer that. Hit... Yes. For me, the driver was responsible. Many people, I I was reading many many comments of people saying. Solo uno sabe lo que le cuesta con, you know, con gran esfuerzo y humildad. And blah, blah, blah. I, I'm sorry, but that's unacceptable. Because, for example, I am a father. And if I know my car is not in a good condition, I will not take my family to the beach. Example. Because I know that my tires or maybe my brakes of my car are bad. So I'm not going to put my family's risk and the people around me. You know, and I think I I understand poor man, poor man, the, the driver. People say it wasn't his fault. Yes, it was. If you are, if you know if you know that you are driving a car that is not in good condition then you are part of the you are part of the of the problem so uh for me that was no excuse it was not acceptable because people say sí pero era empleado yes then he said look i can't drive that the car is not in condition. I am risking my life. I am risking the people around me. Yeah, see? You know, I don't know. But for me, that was not acceptable. I mean, you have to be responsible. Mm -hmm. Yes. What about for you, Claudia? What is something not, um, something unacceptable? To be unpunctual. Wait, wait, but there, but but you know, sometimes maybe you don't want to be unpunctual. Sometimes 
things happen. Okay, that is understandable, but people have the custom to be late. Yes. Yeah, you know, that doesn't bother me. You know what bothers me is that they don't call or they don't notify you. Mm -hmm. Especially now, especially now that you can call, you can WhatsApp, you can, I don't know, you can messenger, you can take pictures. Exactly. Hey, look, I'm in traffic. And, oh, okay, thank you for, for letting me know. But no, yeah, yeah, in a lugar, like an hour late. I'm sorry, but there was a lot of traffic. Really? <laughs> One hour later, you telling me that there was traffic? Yeah, that's good. That's unacceptable. All right. Disagreeable is similar to agreeable, right? Hay un famoso dicho en inglés, a ver si lo entienden. We uh, let's agree to disagree. Do you understand that? Yes. Mm -hmm. It's like, like so, something that everyone knows is that the, their opinions related to anything are different. So that's the only thing that they are agreeing. Yes. Like that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. So you, like, let's say, for example, politics. I am... I am black and you are white and I fight for black. You fight for white. So, but at the end we don't fight. We just debate. So, you know, we agree to disagree. That was the only thing we had in common, but we didn't fight or anything. You know, so, okay, good. Next we have disapproving. Disapproving is the contrary of what? Of approving. Exactly. Next we have unethical. What is something for you very unethical? You know, let me give you an example. Now, at my age, do you know what is something I think is is unethical? What is money that is not yours, for example? No. Okay, look, for example, my father died in November. My mother died the year before. And one thing I've noticed, old people, they ask me, ¿Y cuántos años tenía su papá? Oh, he was 70. And then these people say, eh, oh my God, I am 72. So people compare, you know, like, oh my God. So some people say, no, ya, ya, ya está viejito. But sometimes we say that a alguien de su misma edad, <laughs> you know? You know, so now for me, it's unethical to say, no, ya está viejito, man. <laughs> you know, to somebody who is viejito. <laughs> you, you, you know what I'm saying? It's like, um, like last time I was with my father-in-law, mi suegro, and uh, who died? Quien murió? I think it was Vicente Fernandez, right? And how old was Vicente Fernandez? Yeah, 80 años. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was going to say, no, yeah, 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 está viejito. Because my, my father-in-law, he's almost 82. So I think that's offensive <laughs> for him. So now I just, I stay quiet. I think it's unethical to say that to somebody old. Yes, what about you, Dennis? What is something you think is unethical? Mm, let me see. For example, uh, when when a bus uh, in a meeting or in a, in a WhatsApp group 
shows the mistake or the error from a teammate in, uh, with, na with name and last name. And he tried to, to take a disciplinary action or tell something uh, in public mm -hmm. that everyone everyone is gonna know what he did, what, what was the punishment, or use that to feel other people what is gonna happen if they made that mistake. So for me, that's that's uh, unethical. I think mm -hmm. that is not the way to make a group work or try to follow everyone the any rule or or any kpis or stuff like that i know i if i if i KPI. will be kpi yeah if i will be a boss i wouldn't do that so yeah, it's not true. the way for me it's not the way it's unethical and i have seen a lot of people even friends that do the things in that way so uh, for me that, that that's a stupid that that doesn't work you so know, if you wanna mm -hmm. no it's true it's very true yeah one thing i also think that is unethical in work to kiss your co-workers i don't know i mean i i never like to kiss my students or my co-workers i think it's unethical even like hi hi how are you because I don't know. A kiss is, I'm. You, you know, you know, like you know, we kiss somebody every day, right? Like, hi, how are you? And then you you kiss on the cheek, but I don't know why. I I think I think that's unethical. Sure. Yes, bodies. Uh, for me, it's more nearby the professions. Uh, I think that is unethical when some people reveal the privacy information that had to be kept um, maybe uh, right. if a if a doctor uh, um maybe he lives in your in the same neighborhood he, he revealed to other people uh, the illness that the people have in that place is unethical yes that's true yes it's a good point all right good for you all right so now we have unfair, dishonest, illegal. Boris, I have a question for you when it's illegal. Um, this girl that I was telling you, the, this pregnant girl that Star Wars Lindo Pega, she was pregnant because I remember that I was with my wife because there was a lot of traffic. And you see the girl in this in the sidewalk, and she was, she was. Imagine this is glue. She was like this. You know, she was crazy stoned. She was, but she had a. a she was pregnant. Now my question, because my wife told me, "La policía no puede hacer nada," and said, "I don't know," because it said illegal to. So he says sniff glue. Look, uh, look at the chat. Uh, well, I think that uh, something that this, uh, like this case, uh, maybe is something uh, the non public, uh, some institution try to. Uh, no, but well, uh, imagine you you are dressed in your police uniform and you see this girl sniffing glue, pregnant girl sniffing glue. Can you do something as a policeman? But legally, no, 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 the moralmente hablando, no, legally, can you do something or you say, no, I can't because sniffing glue is not illegal. Is it illegal or no? Well, you know, the, the girl is pregnant and the police uh, see this girl. Mm -hmm. I think that uh, the pen of the institution, if they want to help this girl, because the, the police can say, hey, I'm going to take you to the Procuraduría General para la República okay. or, or, the, or, the, or the Fiscalía, but 
depends that the institution wants to oh, okay uh, take the case okay yeah. because uh, the illegal in that case is uh, that she is harming the 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 baby the the the, the baby that uh, no 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 board yet yeah. Okay, but now imagine if you see her smoking crack. That's different. That's illegal, right? Yeah. That that's immediate. Hey, no, there you have no excuse. You know, hey, let's go. You're going to jail because you're smoking crack, and crack is illegal. Correct. Sí, yes, yeah, it's correct. Oh, okay. Yeah, man. Poor baby. Okay. Teacher, yes, sir. You you know how uh, how long uh, uh, had to pass for a woman's uh, get pregnant? I don't understand your question. Uh, um, how long is the how much or or how many the time? I don't know how many the time. How long? How long? How long is the time? Uh, how long? Had to pass, yeah, for mm -hmm. a woman uh, after a relation, she get she got pregnant. Uh -huh. I don't know. It's not immediately. No, it's not immediately. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes the uh, people that uh, work in medicine they don't want that uh, reveal this information, but it had to pass for days. Are you serious? Yes. Wow. And so, for that, in, in the in the pharmacies, they uh, they sell a lot of kind of a uh, um, medicine that uh, equilibrium the I don't know the yeah it's called the day after yeah that's it. Same, the, oh that's why. And for that, it's, it's legal uh, to sell that uh, medicine. I wish I knew that when I was like 18 and 20. I spent a lot of money on those medicines. <laughs> wow, four days. I didn't know that. Hey, that's interesting. So, hey, Bori. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, teacher. Sorry, no, 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 I was ahead. going to ask. Yeah, I, I have a question for Boris. I'm curious about it. Uh, because the other day you mentioned that cannabis or yeah, cannabis uh, is not is not illegal at all. I think that you mentioned that there is an amount that if the police uh, found you that you have that amount of cannabis, uh, it's okay. So more than that amount, I think that is uh, that they can arrest you if you have more. But I thought that it was for any kind of drug. I mean, if you if you if it is for your intake, I I, I think personal use for your personal use, um, it's not illegal. So you are not selling to anybody. So depending on the amount, but the teacher, the teacher mentioned that if the police found you uh, using uh, crack, you said, right? Mm -hmm. They they yeah. can arrest you. So it it is not the same for for in, for all the drugs. It's different the the, the, the law. Yeah, we had a a lot of drugs. Um, mm -hmm. They have the. Um, the average that a uh, people uh, uh, if, if the police found it uh, immediately they arrest. Uh, sometimes they could be arrested and uh, the judge only put some I don't know how to say in English medidas, but uh, restrictions. It, yeah, restrictions. But it found more that the law said these people go to the jail. Six years, eight years, ten years. But Boris, what Dennis said, imagine, imagine you find a small amount of you you stop me and I have a very, very low amount of crack. Insignificant yeah, well, amount. Is that illegal? 
No, it's not legal, but uh, we had to review how is the, the percent, yeah? How is the percent that... No, if the could... percent is the minimum. Okay. Uh, well, sometimes uh, if people only consume uh, a little and... I could say that uh, the police can uh, detain, uh, stop you, arrest, can arrest, yeah, can arrest mm -hmm. the people. But uh, these people is going to go off uh, early. Okay. Yeah. I thought I thought it was only for marijuana because marijuana, it's natural, and I thought like crack is chemicals. That's what I thought. Yeah, but it's the same. Uh, it had a, a little percent. Uh, sometimes it's considered it's only consumed. Okay, interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, interesting. I'm just curious. So I'm just curious. No, me too. Me don't too. Get, don't I, get I, me wrong. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> Dennis is checking his wallet like. Hmm. <laughs> no, it's no but that 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 happens. You know. Or, for example, for people that drives when they have uh, drunk. So now I think that the law has changed because uh, what I what I remember is that, or what what, what the what the the manual or this book that 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 the BMT gives you when you take. When you take the driver license, when you are preparing for that, it used to say that if the if the police stop you and you are you have uh, you have been drinking alcohol, uh, you you gotta pay, right? There is a ticket that you gotta pay. They are gonna give you a ticket, and someone else must must be there to drive your car because you will be unable or they are not going to let you drive the car anymore at that moment. But now I think that is the police stop you and you have been drinking alcohol. Uh, they are going to arrest you, I think. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. So Boris, what is the limit? But that's, that's really, it's not accurate. How many beers can I drink and drive? Two? Japan, the beers had the five percent of alcohol. Yes. Um, when you uh, drink a uh, four, you are drinking twenty percent. But uh, no, you're not drinking twenty uh, percent. No, because five percent. No, yeah, you know. Uh, okay, imagine I drink one little beer. And that beer has five percent. Yeah. But imagine I drink that beer, yet there's a delitro, and it's still five percent. So that means I'm only drinking five percent of the liquid, but depends on the amount of liquid. Correct? No. Yeah, the yeah, depend the amount. You know uh, of liquid. What what is what is the I think it's five point nine or no, cuál es el, el, el in if the police stop you is the the minimum uh, the minimum uh, for the fine is uh, when you drink when you drunk okay when you're drunk mm -hmm. yes but uh, no but if, the if you if you in the exam in el, in el alcohol test in an alcohol test 60 percent i think you know i have a funny story about that a long, long, very long time ago, in fact, my wife was my girlfriend. And um, her parents were celebrating their anniversary. That night, I remember I drank five beers and maybe 10 tequilas because it was the long, the long, the long shot. So el doble. Mm. Okay. And I and I and I drank five. But the thing is that I was a little happy, like whoa, 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 whoa. and it was eight at night. So no, I said, no, I'm going home. Okay, yeah. And when I was going home in the corner of my house, the police stopped me. And they were with doctors del ministerio. 
and I said, oh my God, now I am in trouble. And and I remember the police, he told me, have you been drinking? And I said, wow, I just came from a dinner. And yes, I've had some beers. Uh oh, earthquake. Yes. Again. Again. Oh. Keep calm. <laughs> okay, it's over, I think. Yeah. So it, what happened was that I asked them, excuse me, with how many beers? And then the police told me, if you drink more than two beers, it will show in the result and we will take your car and you will go to jail. Y me dijo, and I can't do anything porque está no del ministerio there. The, the, actually, the ones from the ministerio were doing the alcohol test. Yeah. And I was, oh my God, I'm going to jail. Oh my God, oh my God. I was thinking about my mom. I was thinking about everybody. So, so I, 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 I blew on the thing. I don't remember if he told me 2.9. See, the 2.9 para arriba. I don't know if it was 2.9, 1.9. I don't remember. But let's say it was 2.9. I'm sorry, I will take you. He said, ready? I had no option. I said, okay. So I blew. 2.8. And I said, what? And I was, what? And I was, oh my God, I think that was one of the happiest moments in my life. And he told me, bueno, parece que está... Only the fine. No, nothing. I was... Nothing. He told me, you are under the limit. It's good. Go home. Yeah. You make it like, oh my God, how is this possible? And then another policeman, he came to me, me dice, ¿cuánto te salió? Como 2.8. Te salvaste, Chile. Yo, wow, I can't believe it. <laughs> I can't believe it. And you know what happened was that because it was a party, I ate a lot that day, a lot, a lot of food. So I guess the food, <laughs> I don't know. Como me funcionó como esponja. So it was absorbing that. I don't know. But I was happy and I went home. I was so stupid that when I went home, I stopped in the gas station and I bought a six pack to celebrate. <laughs> yes. Teacher, I don't I don't know how is the formula that they applique because Me too. Uh, it's, it's yeah. in blood. It's in blood that they applique the, the, the percent. They had an uh, uh, a technology a technological uh, uh, machine. Um I remember that they said that it had more than a ninety-nine percent in blood. Oh, you go to the jail immediately. Oh, so now yeah. it's in colors. Okay. No, no, no. I'm asking you. Now it's in colors. No. In colors? You said in blue. In blood. In blood. blood. Oh, in blood. In blood. Oh. Yeah, in blood. Yeah. No, I use a breathalyzer there. <laughs> yeah, is it, that's it, the Halco test, but uh, sometimes that uh, machine uh, doesn't work. Uh, yes, well. because that day it didn't work, and I was so happy. Because that day I drank a lot and it didn't, it didn't, you know, I was lucky. I was lucky. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So le look, now let's look at the next page is express wishes and regrets. Regrets. You understand what a regret is, right? Yes. Okay. Let's see. Yes. Are you ready to express wishes and regrets? Remember, we can wish about the present and the future, and we regret about the past. Wishes and regrets. For wishes about the present and future, use wish plus past simple, or past continuous, or could, or would plus verb. I wish I had enough nerve to ask for a promotion. I wish I could find the time to do volunteer work. For regrets about the past, use wish plus past perfect. I wish I'd taken a few Spanish classes. 
I wish I had given my parents such a hard time when I was growing up. For regrets about the past, use if plus past perfect and could or would have plus past participle. If I had stuck with something, I could have gotten good at it. For strong wishes about the present or future, or for strong regrets about the past, use if only. If only clauses are often used without a main clause. If only my boss would consider promoting me. In English, there are different ways to express wishes in the present and in the future. We may use wish plus past simple, wish plus past continuous, wish plus could plus verb, or wish plus would plus verb. We use wish plus past simple to express that we want a situation in the present or future to be different. Example, I wish I spoke English. I don't speak English. I wish I had a big car. I don't have a big car. I wish I were on the beach. I am in the office. Future, I wish it were the weekend tomorrow. I'm sorry, I think that's my family calling. It's only Tuesday tomorrow. Did you notice the use of were when using the pronoun I and it? These change also have. Well, okay, look, let's not let's not get too complicated right now in grammar. So when you want to wish something about the present or the future, you say I wish. And the verb in past, I wish I had. Yes, I. What is the past of am? I am. Was. I wish I was. I, I wish I had. I wish I went. I wish I seen. I wish I saw. Yes. So, for example, I wish I was rich. Hey, who likes Pink Floyd? Do we have a Pink Floyd fans here? Uh, a pair of songs, uh, but I think that what you are thinking about, what song is uh, I Wish You Were Here, yes. right? How I, I wish, know that song. How I Wish You Were Here. Man, that's a beautiful song. So he's talking about his friend, that his friend from so many drugs, se tostó. you know, he, he's like in Mexico and sound is like, oh. so he, he's singing How I Wish You Were Here. So his friend is not here. Yes, I wish I were rich. So in the present, I am not rich, I am poor. Yes, like I wish I was ugly because I am very beautiful. And sometimes I wish I were ugly. You know, solo para saber cómo se siente, you know? Just, just for curiosity. <laughs> so it's like, it's like, yeah, so on a previous class, we said that wool means like, yeah, right? Yes. So in this case, could we also use wool? No, in I this case, wish. in this case, because it's wish, I wish. Entonces, in this case, it's like saying quisiera. Y si te das cuenta, Boris, uh, Dennis, I'm sorry. En español también de, decimos el verbo querer en pasado para algo en presente. Ah, oh, quisiera estar en la playa ahorita. Yes or no? Mm -hmm. Yes. Lo decimos en pasado también, quisiera. So that, that's what I wish would be. I wish will be. Yes. I, uh, I wish, wish in the past. I wish Earth. I, I wish you, I wish he. I, so is I wish the pronoun and the verb in past. Okay. That's okay. new for me. Yes. It's so for example. Oh, okay. I'm an English teacher and I always I always have this from adults. And they told me, man, teacher, I wish I studied 
Oh, no, no, eso en pasado. Eso en pasado. Eh, sometimes, oh, with the weather today. Uy, son from son sonate. Claudia Marcela Linares. Urquía. Yes. Imagine si su esposo se llama llamar Aguirre Gómez Corta. Se llamara Claudia Marcela Linares Urquía de Aguirre Gómez Corta. <risa> Le dijo porque tenía una amiga que era argentina y ese era el apellido de Aguirre Gómez Cortés. Pero eran los tres juntos. Aguirre Gómez Cortés. Era un solo nombre. Y ese era el apodo de ella también. Hey, Aguirre Gómez Cortés, vení. So, Claudia, you live in Sonsonate, correct? Correct. Is Sonsonate hot or cold? Hot. All right, so what do you wish you had for the weather? I wish you were cold. Or you can say, no, for example, I wish I had an air conditioner. Uh, yeah, I wish I had an air conditioner. 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 Mm -hmm. Or you can be more, more specific and say, oh, I wish I had AC. I wish I had a AC. Good. Um, some people that work, they say, man, I wish I had Sunday and Monday off. Hay algunas personas que trabajan Saturdays and Sundays, right? And maybe they have one day or two days or, or mix the days. For example, in my case, I have... Saturday and Sunday off. But sometimes I wish I had Sunday and Monday off. Because I know that Monday I will rest. But when you're married and you have Saturday and Sunday off, oh man, you have to go here, go there, go there, do this, do that, do that. You have no time for you. But if you have Monday off, everybody's working, your son is in school. So you're like, oh, yes, the house for me. That's as a married man. But maybe when you're single, yes. If you're single, you said, man, I wish I had Saturday and Sunday off because I can party. Yes. Claudia, can you tell me something you wish? Uh, Claudia hey. Maria Guerrero Mejia. Eh, let me see. I wish. If you had a superpower, what would you wish? I was I was going to say something more simple. Okay. For example, I wish I wish I could take a week of vacation. Oh yes. <laughs> you know, you know what? Which was my last real vacation I had? Mm -hmm. It was two years ago or three years ago when I got COVID. <laughs> I mean, I I I remember that I got COVID when in the lockdown when estábamos todos encerrados. Remember? And when I got COVID, it's when people thought that you were going to die. So I I really I really got sick, yes, but I survived. But now I remember I had two weeks in a room. Well, in my house, we have a room in the back with bathroom, TV, internet, everything. And it was now that I think about it, yes, it was something bad, but it was nice because I remember my wife only knock on the door like food. <laughs> so you know. I opened my food and I said, yes, platos, you know, and I remember I watched so many series on, on Netflix. I watched every movie possible. That was my last real vacation, two weeks. 
I will never have that again. <laughs> what about you, Jose Isaias? I wish I saw what? my ex girlfriend by this. No, no. Well, I wish I could fly, for example. Okay, I wish I could fly, yes. I wish I could be invisible. Uh, uh, it's acceptable. That would be cool. I wish I could be invisible. Le fuera a jalar las patas a los que me cayeran mal. When they're sleeping, you know. Okay, listen, tomorrow is Wednesday. We will talk more about this tomorrow. Um, lo que Dennis dijo, I wish, lo estamos haciendo con verbo. Mañana lo vamos a hacer con, I wish I would, I wish I could. Yes? Si yo le digo, I wish I could, but I can't, so I won't. Ajá. Quisiera poder, pero no puedo, no lo haré. <laughs> es algo así. Hey, can you help me? Oh, I wish I could, but I can't, so I won't. Okay. Recuerden eso, para con eso vamos a empezar mañana. Okay, then class, have a very good after. I'm sorry. Allison, sorry, teacher. I felt really bad today. I will leave for now. See you tomorrow. Okay, Allison. No, no, via chat. All right. Okay, class. So I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. See you. Bye. Good evening. Bye. 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 Puta, aquí sigue temblando, tembló y otra vez.